Hello, Curtis Crow the Photo Pro here to show you the differences between presets and snapshots. Now, snapshots are a lot like the history. You can go back and uh, see where you were at a prior position. This is a photo that I edited just by myself, and here's the photo that I used a preset in order to edit. And I liked it, so I saved it as a snapshot. Now, a lot of people don't use snapshots, they just go back in their history, but snapshots do have their place in Lightroom because they save everything that you've done to that photo at that moment, and you can come back, you know, 30 moves later, you can come back 30 minutes later, an hour, a month later, and although your history will be wiped clean by then, your snapshots will not. To give you an idea of how snapshots work is you edit a photo, so you can go cross-processed and let's add some vignetting. So boom, cross-process, vignetting, and then you're like, oh, I like that. It's a little artsy, but, you know, I'll still present it to the client. You can click this little add button here and call it whatever you want. Um, Over-processed photo. Um, so now I have my original edit a photo that I liked from the presets that I made some minor adjustments to, and then this one that I feel is a little over-edited. Now, with snapshots, you can also subtract. So I can delete this over-processed photo because let's say I don't like it. And even you can edit your pre or your uh, snapshots with, by, let's say you know, I want to add just a little bit more contrast to the photo. I want to do this and this, and then I want to say smoothen the image a little bit more. That's a lot more, but that's just an option. And then I can right click here and go to update with current settings. And boom, that photo is now updated. Uh, if you don't like it, you can go back, which I am gonna go back. So it's a little smoother than I like, even though older images uh, are typically smoother. Um, I'm not a real big fan of the changes that were made there. So once my, so I'm not a fan of the changes that were made there. And the differences between presets, because it kind of looks like snapshot to some of the newer photographers that may be watching this video. You might be like, what's the difference then between a snapshot and a preset if it's just changing your settings from what you've saved? The difference is that your snapshots are photo specific. So if I go down to, let's say this photo, I no longer have those snapshots. So you find the photo or the edits that work for that specific photo, and then you can add a snapshot. You can save it uh, so you can do additional edits if you want to go a little bit more crazy, a little bit more artsy, however you want to do it, and that'll give you a fallback point in order to go back to. Uh, but you will not be able to apply to all your photos. So I hope that kind of gives you a better idea of how snapshots actually work. And I do use them, not frequently, but it is definitely something that I do not shy away from. So I hope this helps you, and I hope this helps you with your workload as a photographer, whether you're doing weddings, landscapes, um, high volume, you know, portraits, whatever you're doing, I hope this helps. And as always, this has been Curtis Crow, the Photo Pro. Toodles.